This man right here is my brother. His name is Gerald. I call him Mr. Globetrot because he travels all over the world. And so here's some of the pictures of the places that he goes to. He's gone to Africa. He's gone to India. He's gone to China. I mean, he's every week it seems like he's in a big place. And he moves around so much, what he does is he takes pictures of where he's going and he posts it on Facebook so people can see what he's doing. And if he hadn't done that, I wouldn't have a clue. If anybody asked me what my brother did, I could not tell him. But he's always posting a picture of where he is. The kids on the far, on your left-hand side, the little boy holding up the picture, is a little African boy. And he goes to different countries, and he finds products that they produce in those countries, and he brings them back to the United States to sell. And these are one of the little boys in the village, and he saw him taking pictures, and he hadn't seen a camera before. So what my brother had his people do was take pictures of all the little kids and give them the pictures. And this little boy was so happy, happy he kept putting it to his heart because he had never seen his own face in the picture. And so he was, so my brother took a picture of that, put it up on Facebook. So these two boys are village boys. This was India. This a little boy in China that he met. So everywhere he went, he would take a picture. And I don't know what he's doing here. I got to ask him about this one. He's got streamers and stuff going on. There. But what he did is he would take the picture. And then underneath the picture, he'd tell you a little bit about that person that he did. So you not only knew what he was doing for his company, you got a sense of the people he was meeting and the fun he was having, some of the stuff that they learned. I never would have known. I thought that was a boy just holding a picture. But you never would have known this boy had never seen his own picture before. Never seen his before. No. So he was really happy to have his own picture, and they framed it for him and everything. So I wanted to introduce you to him because he's a really good example of someone who tells really good stories. When he gets home, I can't wait for him to get home because behind all that is a bunch of funny stories. And so he tells me those funny stories and he's so good at it that I end up laughing and wiping my eyes and then trying to tell my son he never comes out right. So what I'm trying to do is just send people to the side and say, hey, let Gerald tell you when he gets home. But the point I'm making is, Nobody can tell your story better than you can. And I'm new to the center. They just put me on the mailing list a couple of weeks ago. And I looked up there on the website and I saw you all working on computers and building robots and I read about drones. And I was thinking, where was all this stuff when I was a kid? That's a neat stuff. And that's stuff that people like me need to know more about. So it would be great every week to see you all working on your computers or see you all doing different projects. And other people want to know what you're doing. But what you got right now is you all are doing all this fun stuff. You got us grown-ups telling other grown-ups what you're doing. It's not the same as if you tell us. Wouldn't you rather be the one to tell me what you're doing? So what we're going to do is we're going to learn a little program that's going to let you do that. When you all are out here doing your projects, creating complete stuff, what we're going to let you do is rather than have us tell people what you do, there's a program that will let you create your own little flyers, your own little emails. You can pull up all kinds of pictures that you want. You can put in big fancy letters, make them all kinds of colors. And then you can tell me, so anytime you think about dashboard, it's like the one place where you can see where everything's going on. So whenever you all are creating your emails and you're sending them out, when you get into this program called MailChimp, the first thing you're going to see is a dashboard. And all it's going to show you is just all the stuff you sent out and how well it's going. Are people actually reading it? If they're not reading it, they need to change a little bit. The first thing we do is we got into MailChimp, we looked at the dashboard. Let's go to... Number five, what's that say? Is this the campaign? What's that? So like regular old campaign? Okay. So when you first get into it, you see all a campaign is, just think email. It's a different kind of email. This one is what we're going to start working on. Because this one's the one that lets you really play around with different pictures. 
stuff, okay? okay. So what you're going to do is this mouse. And which one should you click on? So what's next? Okay, so select the list that you want to send your email to. Okay, in this case it's already selected, so you just keep going. So the next one, who can read number seven? So you're going to do one more than I'm going somebody else sit down. Okay. So number seven is select the blue setup. <laughs> select the setup. The word setup. Click on there. Or you can click on next. Okay, you did it. You did it. Oh, stop. Right there. Thank you, sir. Somebody else want to work the mouse? Come on now. Then you'll be next. Okay. Okay, so then you're going to get to the screen. This one right here. So I to read about that? That's A A. What does that say? <coughs> okay. So it says, tell them what your email. So this one, all that means is what are you going to write your newsletter about? What's your email going to be about? Okay? So the first one we're going to do is call a newsletter. So you want to take this mouse and just click right there? Right here in this box. The next thing is what? Okay, the subject of the email. So you all ever receive emails or text messages, and before you open it up, there's a little text that tells you what it's about before you get to it. That's the subject line. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's no subject. But what you do is you want to put something in that subject line so when somebody gets your email, before they open it up, you want to give them a reason to click on it and open it up. Sometimes I get emails and if I don't think I like what's in there, I'll delete it and keep going. Okay, so you want to put something interesting in that subject line. Tell me what I would put in there. So this is going to be an email about you all and the stuff you do, right? So when you want somebody to know something about some of the projects you work on, what would you say? What's your name? Xavier. Okay. So the next one is from, and in this case you can take that out. Just delete all that just in there. So from, since it's actually going to be from here, you can just type South Union. So whenever you get an email, first thing you look for is you want to see who it's coming from, right? So when you type this in here, whenever you send out an email, they'll look up here and they'll know, okay, this email's coming from South Union, and it's about some kind of neat stuff like that. All right. Let's see. Number nine. You can read number nine for me. Select the new design arrow with my next step design. Okay. All this stuff down here, you can click on the next one here. Whatever's blue, you click on the next one. You get to it or you can just click next. Thank you, sir. Next up. Come on, lady, don't too quiet. Come on, Miss Purple. <laughs> it's okay. It's not my budget, I'm not sure my budget. What's your name? Taylor. Taylor, thank you. Okay. So what we just did was we just set up our <coughs> newsletter. We told it what we want to talk about in our newsletter. Now they know who it's coming from. We decided we, we wanted to put what was in that line, subject line. So what does that tell people when they see a subject line? What it's about, right? Uh -uh. We haven't created it yet. We're just setting it up. First thing you have to do is you have to set it up so the program knows who you are. Then you gotta set up your email, not to tell you. And then you gotta decide what you wanna put in your email, then you gotta send it up. Okay. Right? So what's the next thing we have to do? Okay. Number 10? What's that again? Select email design. Thank you, sir. Select email design, which is the one I'm going to do. Okay. And the 
next one. Okay. Once you select email design, you get a choice of different stuff that you can do. Just go to this one right here. That's that'll give you the easiest route to creating your emails. Okay. This down here is a lot going on there, so let's click on basic. a whole bunch of different options and all this stuff is if it says column one it just means everything's on one column if it says two columns it means you can split your email up into two columns okay we're actually going to go through an email you all are going to create one for valentine's day thing that you're doing here and then you're going to create an actual newsletter so all this stuff we're going through we're going to walk through it again but you're going to i'm going to stand back and i'm going to let you all walk through it okay so we're going to make it easy this time. We're just going to pick this one right here. What that means? Right. Y'all heard of Facebook? Yeah. And you heard of Twitter? Okay. So this means when you send your email, if you want other folks to know about it that are on Facebook and Twitter and other stuff, then you would take this and you would put it in here. And then whenever they read your email and they want to share it with their friends or family, they click on that and then it'll go to other people. Okay, so they always want to try that. And all you got to do is just click here and just drag it over here. See what happens. Can y'all see it? You can. Have you all ever gone to your site and seen all the neat stuff they have up there? It's cool. So I wanted to find out more about what you all been up to. And I went on the site, went out here to the gallery page, lots of pictures. Okay, so when you're creating your newsletters, I don't know who takes the pictures and posts them out on your site, but you got a lot of stuff already out here that lets people know a little bit about what you do. So when you're creating your newsletter, if you're not quite sure what kind of picture you want to use, this might be a good place for you to start. You can look through, see some of the stuff you all have done, you see somebody you know, you can pull their picture out, and you can put it in this. When you see a file on your hard drive that you like, you click on that file, and you open it, and it'll pop it up into here. So if you've done that, you've got a lot of files that you can pick from, and you click on images. All the stuff that you've already used before, like right here, so these have been used before. You can click on those, and they'll pop it up. So what if I want to pick another one? Come through here, scroll through, I see a little girl, I'll pop it in. So once you tell it, yep, I like it, you hit confirm, send. What it just did is it sent that email to my mailbox. 